Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this pan seared mahi mahi with turmeric rice and mixed vegetables. Well, the vegetables are really easy, it's just salt and pepper. But the main part is the fish. Alright, so I started making this about three weeks ago. I was really curious about the fish and it kind of reminds me of chicken breast. So you definitely cannot overcook it or else it's going to be tough and taste like rubber seafood so we don't want that alright so to start off you're going to get your get your get you some mahi mahi fillets you can get this in the supermarket frozen food section I got a $15 bag that had about 12 pieces really nice um, sizes in there and I felt like that was a good deal so, to start off the fish, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. I'm doing five fillets. You're going to use some lemon pepper seasoning. Any lemon pepper seasoning you have, okay, this one is from Wally World, okay, and you're going to add a bit more black pepper to that. Remember, season to your liking. Um, I don't really measure when I cook, so I'm just going to give you averages here, okay? So, half a teaspoon of garlic powder about a little less than half a teaspoon of coarsely ground black pepper and about half a teaspoon of onion powder remember um, add seasoning to your liking you do not have to do exactly the same amount of seasoning that I am doing okay I also added some more parsley to this and then we're just gonna mix this up okay so lemon pepper seasoning garlic powder onion powder some kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper and parsley. So we're just gonna mix this around, make sure it's all covered in the seasoning. And you're just gonna cover this or just put it in the fridge for a little bit while you get the rice together, okay? So here's where I add the extra bit of salt. Because I didn't use too much of that lemon pepper seasoning, it does have salt in it, but I didn't use a lot of it, so I added some extra salt. You're gonna cut up a half of a medium small onion and use two tablespoons of butter, real butter, this is salted butter. You're going to use um, one teaspoon of turmeric. So get your pan or your pot that you're gonna cook your rice in on the stove, put it on medium heat, melt your butter, add in your turmeric, add in a teaspoon of cumin, and you're going to let this, you know, cook in the butter just for a bit, about a minute. Do not let it burn, okay? Once you have that fully combined, you can go ahead and add in your onions. And you're going to cook the onions until they're translucent or until you see that they're, you know, they're not this bright white opaque color anymore. Once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and add in three to four cups of basmati rice, okay? So add in your rice and you're going to stir this and let the rice toast for a little bit. So without adding any liquids right now, you're going to stir this, combine the rice with the turmeric butter and cumin mixture with the onions. Add in some salt for flavor. And you're just going to toast the rice. So pretty much move it around the pot. On medium heat and let it toast for a bit it's gonna smell a little bit nutty you do not want it to burn once you're done with that you can add in about three cups of chicken broth or chicken stock whatever you have available and you can add in about two cups of water if you want to do all chicken broth or chicken stock you can do that I just used what I had available usually I'll just use chicken broth or chicken stock alone but I didn't have all of that so you can just do three cups, which is what I had, of chicken broth, chicken stock, and two cups of water. You just want the water to be above the rice, okay, about a half inch above the rice. Bring it to a boil, and once you have brought it to a boil, you're going to lower your heat all the way to low and cover it. And it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook fully on low heat. So here I added in all my liquids, again, three cups of chicken broth or chicken stock, two cups of water, bring it to a boil, 
cover it, lower the heat, and this is it. I did not add any extra water that was just steam that fell off of the cover onto the rice and made it look like I put water in there. I did not. All right, so it's fully cooked, and that is it for the rice. So now we're going to get started on the fish that we have seasoned and ready for us in the fridge. All right, you guys, so make sure your pan or frying pan, whatever it is you're using to make your fish, is on the stove on medium-high heat. Okay, put in one tablespoon of butter and some olive oil. You can use any oil that you like. Um, I'm just using olive oil and butter. I like the flavor it gives the fish. And you're going to wait for that to melt together and get nice and hot. You want to get like a nice sear on the fish. You don't want to burn it, but you want to get a nice sear on the fish itself. Okay. Once you get your butter and everything nice and melted with your olive oil and it's nice and hot, we can start putting in our fish. I am making five pieces. So I'm just going to lay them down and do not move them. Once you have them positioned where you want them to go, you know, just leave them there. Okay. If you keep flipping the fish and all of that stuff, well, you know, you're not going to be able to get that nice brown color on one side. So, you know, just keep it on one side for two and a half minutes to three minutes. That's enough to cook a filet of mahi-mahi, okay? So I'm going to speed up the video just a bit. And think of this fish as chicken breast. You don't want to overcook it because if you overcook it, it's going to get very, very dry, like really dry. It's not even going to be juicy anymore. It's just going to be dry and just not, not what you were hoping for, okay? So just give it two and a half minutes to three minutes on each side on medium-high heat, not on blazing high heat, okay? So you see how it has that nice brown? on one side that's perfect that ex that's exactly what it is that we're trying to get okay all right so after your two and a half to three minutes has passed you know go ahead flip all your fish please don't cook it longer than this it does not need it okay it doesn't need it it's going to be dry okay it's gonna be dry it's gonna be like fishy dry chicken breast it's not gonna taste good all right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut up my garlic because I'm putting lots of garlic in here. I'm using one clove of elephant garlic, which they're huge cloves of garlic. I mean, it's like five regular sized cloves of garlic in one or maybe more like six regular sized cloves of garlic in one clove of elephant garlic. So I'm going to add this into the pan before the three minutes is up. Okay, and here's where you're going to have to move a little bit fast because while, you know, you're adding things, this, the fish is cooking, okay? So try to add things around it. So you're going to add your garlic. If you want to add onions, go ahead and add onions. If you want to add parsley, if you want to add any herbs that you like, go ahead and add it while it is cooking and still under the three minutes, okay? I added some butter to melt along with the garlic. All right, so once the butter's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some extra seasonings. I'm using some paprika. Just gonna sprinkle a bit of this over each fillet of mahi-mahi fish. And again, you can get this fish in your um, frozen uh, seafood, frozen seafood section in your supermarket. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle just a bit of the lemon pepper right on top of the fish. When you know, we're not gonna flip it again, so just sprinkle it right on top. I'm gonna add in a tiny bit of water, just like a tablespoon. This is just gonna help us make some pan sauce. And remember, we're trying to stay within that three minutes, okay? So the fish does not overcook, so it's still nice, soft, and juicy when you eat it, okay? And I'm also gonna put in some fresh lemon juice and squeeze it over the fish itself. You could just use like half a slice of lemon and just squeeze it over the fish, all right? As you guys can see, I'm moving around the garlic so it could kind of blend in, mix around together. All right. So, you know, just mix it in so everything is combined. I'm going to add some parsley and, like I said, my lemon juice. Just a half slice. You just squeeze it over the fish. This is also going to help that uh, pan sauce that you're going to put over your rice and your vegetables. It's going to be really good, you guys. Also, extra butter. 
<laughs> but you could skip the extra butter. I just like butter. And real butter, this is salted butter, okay? I know someone's going to be like, that's a lot of butter, that's a lot of seasoning, that's a lot of... You know, if it's too much for you, you know, you don't have to make it. It's a cooking video, okay? You don't have to make it. You can always change the recipe and make it your own, okay? Maybe do it my way, see if you like it. If you don't, change it. All right, so here's where I'm adding the lemon juice. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get some mixed vegetables ready. You can use any vegetables you like. This is just a stir-fry pack of frozen mixed vegetables. Um, you know, whatever you like. Okay, it has some baby corn, some bean sprouts, not bean sprouts, some snow peas, um, red bell pepper, carrots, so whatever you like. So we're going to put our rice down, put our veggies and, and our fish right on top of that. You're going to put some of the pan dripping pan sauce over the rice, just sprinkle it over, you know, or you could put this down first and then put your fish on top of it. It's solely up to you. Um, but yeah, my kids love this fish dish. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids that don't really care for fish, but all three of my kids enjoy it. My husband enjoys it. I enjoy it. So yeah, if you make it, you know, my way and you enjoy it, you know, hey, thanks um, for making it. If you don't like it, you can always change it and make it your own. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon in another video. I have something special coming your way. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Love you guys. Enjoy your eating and I'll see you next time. Bye.